When I say the words Coda and Octavia, three things come to mind. Comfort, practicality and loads of space. But then you add the letters VRS to it, it totally changes the meaning. You get speed, power and handling. This beautiful blend of opposite characteristics in one single car was practically unheard of in the early 2000s in the Indian enthusiast market scene. But that was until this beauty arrived. This is arguably one of the first hot saloon cars to ever come into India. And this is also a wave that people have been riding for the longest time in the Indian car scene. This is the 2004 Octavia VRS Mark I. Skoda Auto India introduced the performance version of the Octavia in the name of the VRS in 2004. The first ever RS is still seen on the Indian roads and bought by the enthusiasts to this day and many people have kept it in pristine condition. The car was sold in a single variant and was priced at Rs 13.30 lakhs ex showroom Delhi back in the day. The colour options available at the time were lemon yellow, corrida red, diamond silver and black magic. This example over here is in beautiful lemon yellow and as you can see the design is simple and subtle and that's the thing older cars have beautiful design language you don't have to be overly aggressive for no reason the design over here is simple and very aggressive in a passive sort of way the differences between a stock Octavia and an Octavia VRS's are very nominal to be honest the bumpers are a little bit different the exhaust outlet at the back is a little bit different you get VRS badging all over you get a rear spoiler on the hatch, you get side skirts and the main difference and the easiest way to find out if a car is a VRS or not are the wheels which are super pretty and are 16 inches. Most of the differences between a Octavia VRS and a stock Octavia are found underneath the body. The suspension package found in the VRS is a little bit different compared to the one found in a stock Octavia. The ride height has been lowered by a few millimeters which gives it a better stance and the suspension has been stiffened up a little bit which means better handling and better for putting down power. And that gets me to the 0 to 100 km an hour acceleration for this car which was just 7.9 seconds and the top speed was 235 km an hour which was unheard of in that era of motoring in India. And those numbers bring me to what's underneath the hood. You get a 1.8 liter 4 cylinder turbocharged petrol engine which churned out 150 horsepower and 210 Newton meters of peak torque which were massive numbers back in 2004. Pair that with a slick stick shift gearbox, 5 speed of course and that was one hell of a recipe for a front wheel drive sedan and it was an enthusiast dream back in 2004. The 1.8 litre engine was one of the first engines to come to India where major hardware changes weren't really needed to get decent power gains. I would say this was one of the first cars that started the trend of ECU remapping in India since the engine was so friendly to tuning. A few simple upgrades like a downpipe, air filter and a good tune-up meant that your Mark 1 VRS would be able to push out around 200 horsepower very easily. And what is even cooler is that Skoda got the Octavia VRS Combi into India, which was the wagon or estate variant of the normal sedan, which is quite possibly one of the coolest cars ever to be sold in India. The Mark 1 VRS was one of those cars that totally changed the landscape for performance cars in India. It was one of those cars that got turbocharging to the masses from an enthusiast perspective. It was also not overly eye-catchy or impractical that your wife would go and disapprove it. It also served dual purposes. It was a great family car on the weekdays and an amazing B-Road bomber on the weekends. The Mark 1 VRS is still desirable even today. It is a car that a lot of people pick up for tuning purposes at dirt cheap rates. Depending on the condition, you can get a Mark 1 VRS in today's second hand used market for around 1 lakh rupees to 2 lakh rupees depending on the condition. And the thing is, the Mark 1 VRS is still a decently fast car even by today's standards. 
it is as fast or arguably faster than the enthusiast cars of today like the GDT SI or the Abarth Punto. So if you're in the market for an enthusiast car which has some great handling, great power and some great practicality as well, the Mark 1 VRS should be at the top of your list. Thank you so much for watching this video. Tell me what you think about the Mark 1 VRS. Would you buy it? Would you not buy it? And what about the reliability of this car? Let us know in the comments down below and I'll see you in the next one.